Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'll be giving you all the deets on this unit that I've been rocking for the last two weeks. I'm gonna let you know everything from my initial impressions down to how it behaved after I went on vacation. So if you're interested in learning that and more, make sure you stay tuned. Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. So I am on my way to Greece for vacation and I got a braided wig and I definitely need to bring it with me. The only problem is I only have 10 minutes before I have to head to the airport. <laughs> we really about to test the limits and see if these wigs really install in 10 minutes. Let's go. Okay, let me first show you this wig. This wig is by Fancy BB and this is the wig. I'm so happy they have these little curly things on it because I was going to add it to the wig anyway. So it makes my work a lot easier. I don't really have much time for the chit chat. Let's go ahead and install this unit. So this is what it looks like when you get it. Let me give y'all a close up because I know the back be important to a lot of y'all. So this is what it looks like in the back. This lace looks really good. I'm not going to hold y'all. And this is what it looks like in the front. Now, my thing with curly wigs usually be the fact that it's a straight line across the front. I did want to customize it, but I don't have time to do it right now. But I plan on doing it when I get on vacation. So make sure you stick to the end and I'm going to show you how I do it. For now, let's go ahead and add some concealer to the inside of this cap and get it on. So this wig looks like it has baby hair all the way around from the back and to the front. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace right at the edges where the baby hair is in the back. I'm going to leave the lace in the front for now and decide later or not if I want to cut it before I apply the adhesive. So it does come with an adjustable elastic band and it has that um, silicone grip on it. So that's good. That should help it feel comfortable. I will tell you the first thing that I did notice about this unit that I really, 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 really like is the fact that it is a very lightweight. I have a braided wig um, that I reviewed previously. I love the wig, but it's so heavy that I've never worn it because it literally ends up hurting my shoulders. So hopefully this one will do fine. I'm actually pretty positive it will because it feels very light, like a regular body wave wig. to breathe yeah i need that take it all in now i see i'm not gonna hold you i don't have five minutes to let this sit i'm gonna have to fix it later on the plane or when i get to my destination curl these baby hairs up a little 
as you guys can see i pulled some of the baby hair is out because i want minimal baby hair i'm gonna use some mold So one thing I will say is be, I'm rushing right now, but be very gentle when handling this wig because these little curlies are going to get in the way. It got caught up on the Velcro on the elastic band when I was trying it down. So just be, <laughs> so dolls just like that i'm ready to go in time to call my uber and make my flight so it don't get no better than this y'all y'all not getting your hair braided in 10 minutes okay and this looks really good i love it 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 the thing about this that stands out from any other braided wig that i've reviewed so far in the past is the way that this feels it's very lightweight i'm not really sure what kind of hair it is i'm gonna put it across the screen y'all but it's so lightweight it really feels like i have nothing on my head and of course i could style this like i would my braids and i will for sure Pull it up in a ponytail. So dolls, that's pretty much it. I finish in record time. It's no way you're gonna be able to go to the salon and get your hair braided anywhere near as fast as this. And guys, one of the things I do want to mention, something about this unit that really stood out above the other units I reviewed is the fact that it's so lightweight. I don't recall what type of hair it is, but I am gonna put it across the screen. And it feels extremely light. It feels like I have nothing on my head. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I really like it. Okay y'all, so I'm back from vacation and I just wanted to give you guys an update on what this unit looks like. This is the condition it's in and I also wanted to give you a close up of the back of that hair. And I'm showing you on a mannequin and I'm also showing you what it looks like when it's on my head. Okay dolls, so I'm back from vacation and this is what the unit looks like, okay? So let's just cut to the chase. Let me give you the rundown. I'm still in love with this unit, okay? Let me just go ahead and get that out out there. Now, certain things you're gonna need to know, and if you ever got in your hair braided using these little, I don't know what they call, extra pieces of hair, then you already know what I'm about to tell you. This joint is gonna tangle, okay? Be prepared, whether it's a wig or whether it's on your natural hair, this tangles so if you do not want to deal with it tangling i would suggest that you just get the braided unit without these now i already expected it to tangle because my daughter gets her hair done with these and it always tangles with her so i was already expecting that um however since i don't sleep in the unit i thought it would be a little bit easier and maybe not tangle because i usually take my units off at night however the unit is going to tangle regardless okay whether you sleep in it or not your mileage may go a little bit longer because you don't sleep in it but eventually it's all going to tangle you can see how they're kind of like attached to each other, the little pieces of hair. So the thing that I like to do when I'm wearing a unit is however I'm gonna style it for the day, I'm just, once I style it, I leave it alone. It's not gonna be me running my hands through the braids. I mean, unless I'm doing this, that's about all you're gonna get from me is, is flipping it to the front or flipping it to the back. But doing all that extra stuff, it's just gonna be a headache, so be forewarned. Now, if you don't want to deal with this, they do sell this same unit without these pieces. They sell the same unit and it has these little spirals on the bottom. However, I just think these pieces just, 
I don't know, they just look cuter in my opinion. So that's why I ordered it. So eventually what I already plan on doing is just cutting these out. Second thing that I want you to know. Oh, so what I did do is like right here, you might see I started um, a little project to see if I can adjust the front of these braids because one of the things that always is a dead giveaway for me of the braided wigs is how perfect the line is in the front of the unit and I'm personally a person who don't really like perfection when it comes to hair like I don't really like my middle parts to be pin straight I, I like a little curvature in my parts because for me I think that looks a lot more natural however if you like perfect parts then skip this tip it doesn't apply to you so for me what I did is I pulled some of this hair out from the front I used it's not this tweezer but you could probably use this tweezer just to take some of the hair out and you want to be careful you don't want to pull it too much because obviously the hair is braided right so you don't want to disrupt the braid so what I did is I pulled it I cut some of the hair with a scissor now don't take on this project if you're not really comfortable with doing this because you might ruin your unit and don't come back and tell me that i made you do anything so be forewarned proceed at your own risk however i did it for one braid just as a tester and that's this one right here and you can tell that it's not as perfectly straight across the front like this one and Actually, I like how this looks a little bit better. So I'll probably do it to this one as well. And I'm going to leave the rest of those alone. I'll only mess with it if I feel the need to. That's pretty much it. Again, one of the things about this unit that I absolutely love is how light weight this unit is i cannot stress that enough that has been what really makes me so happy with wearing this unit it's extremely light on my head but other than that i'm really happy with this unit um yeah i'm really happy with this unit i love it i want to get another one so fancy vivi hit me up for another collaboration if you want <laughs> as always everything used in this video is going to be linked in the description box down below but before we get out of here, guys, I'm going to need your help naming this unit. What do you think we should call her? Go ahead and leave your name suggestions in the comment section down below. And I did pick a name for the unit I reviewed in my last video. The new name as well as the person who submitted the name will be listed across the screen. So, dolls, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up. And if you're not already part of the Faithful Fam, hit that subscribe button and join the family. I love to have you. And while you're at it, why don't you check out this video? You might enjoy it as well. As always important, until next time, you guys stay blessed. And if it be God's will, I'll see you in my next video. Take care now. Shut up.